Hello, everyone. Welcome to the final cosplay panel of the gathering. Aww, sad. Everybody make sad noises. Aww. But make happy noises that you get to see us. Yay! Oh, come on. A little, a little louder. Ready? Yay! Okay, see, I knew you guys had it in you. Okay. So I'd like to uh, first introduce our judges. Not all of them, but three of the four. The most important, anyway. The cool ones. Yeah. So introduce yourselves, guys. Hello, I'm Stickweed. I'm the heavy metal guy! <laughs> Chair. <laughs> Cute chair. Uh, I'm Santatori. Um, yeah. Hi. And you're on the dark side today. Yes. Team yeah. Kylo Ren. Team dark side! I like, you know, the black and the dark side. Yeah. Because it's the best. And they have cookies. <laughs> Channel your force. Oh, yes. Dark side. And I'm still JC from Fandomly Cosplay. All right. Awesome. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Tony Darling, and uh, I wanted to bring these guys on to talk about the epic cosplay contest that we had yesterday. Guys, tell me your thoughts. What did you think? We had some pretty amazing contestants, no? We had fucking amazing contestants. Oh, yes. They looked awesome. Yeah, yeah everyone was, yeah, amazing, as you said. They just, some of them blew my mind. I was like, yeah. yeah. Especially the first timers or like the new Yes, oh my God. They yeah. were so good. Yeah, it was like that last year, too. There were so many contestants that when I went up to them and talked to them, I'm like, oh, my gosh, you must have been cosplaying for years. And they're like, no, this is my first time. I'm like, oh, wow. I need, I need to find a different hobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's important to remember that just because a cosplayer didn't place in the competition doesn't mean that their cosplay was bad. Not at all. There were true. a lot of good costumes that didn't get a price, but that's just because... Like, the level was so high, and there were so many of the good cosplayers. Yes. So that's really important to remember. So if your favorite didn't place, it didn't mean that the costume was bad. As I understand, at all. the judging was, was very difficult. I mean, there were, what, 35 contestants? I mean, yep. that's yeah, a lot of that's people. That's like lost an arm. Hmm? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's why he's not here, actually. Uh, yeah. Hospitalized. <laughs> yeah, so what were um, some of your favorite moments from the show last night? Banana! Banana! banana. <laughs> Who saw Definitely. banana? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, banana. There were there were so many excellent excellent. Oh, the guy with the radio. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. the DJ. <laughs> yeah, that was that was awesome. Yeah, and I feel like everybody did a very good job of of just like doing a little dance and twirling around. Last year, it, it felt like everybody was a, a little bit like timid and shy, but I felt like all of our contestants really gave it. Really yeah. gave it their they all. Did. They were on stage. They were on. They were on that stage. They were yep. that stage. Yeah. They owned it. It's a it's a big stage, so it's intimidating, especially if it's not people who have been on stage a lot. And the, when the judges are sitting right there, it's it can be even more intimidating. Yeah, and no, they all did. the lights. Oh all my the, goodness. All the lights. So it's it, what people dream of, right? Being in front of all the all some sparkles. people. <laughs> yeah, some people. Yes. Um. So you guys are judges and, and other competitions and things. So tell me about your experience as a judge at the gathering. I like it here. We have uh, been treated well. Mm -hmm. People are nice. Uh, this is my first time judging outside Denmark. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to say, Norwegian standard, pretty damn good. Yeah, Norwegians are pretty awesome. Yeah, I like pretty them. Pretty nice, yeah. Woo. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you talk weird, you're okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, um, this uh, is my first year at the gathering, and uh, well, the the cosplay competition has been very interesting and fun for me to be a judge in as well. So um, you get really inspired, or at least I got really inspired mm -hmm. from all of the all of the cosplayers and uh, their energy. Yeah, I just oh, I want to make everything. Oh yeah, like the the hand sewing of uh, oh that of, was uh, so e Evelyn, beautiful. Yes, yeah, Evelyn. yeah. That, Holy I mean, crap! Wow. I, Pardon I love, my language, but yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I love to um, embroider, but that just was like yeah, that was like to the next amazing. Level. It's the next level shit. Um, judging in general at cosplay competitions, the whole day goes to judging. So 
it's really hard and very stressful and you're you you're just butchered when the day is over but it's so much fun yeah. and especially when you have so enjoyable uh co-judges yes <laughs> that's yes. really Thank great you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you guys seem like a, a pretty tight pretty tight group um yeah and, and i mean excellent choices you know I, I don't know how you chose it was very very mm -hmm. difficult there were so so many incredible costumes i really didn't know like i i didn't feel like uh, as the host i felt like there was a clear winner i was like you know there's I really don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So that's really great. And actually, um, one of the things that we've been doing over the last couple of days is filming a cosplay video. So that is finally ready, and we're really excited to uh, kind of do the cosplay video for the Gathering 2016 reveal um, at the show. So I believe it's going it's to come on here any minute. Some of you uh, featured in that their cosplay video. Um, big thanks to Mew for donating the music um, to that video. And big thanks to our judges for coming on out. Um, sorry, I had to make them skedaddle without saying goodbye. But goodbye, judges. We love you. <laughs> Thank you for being here at the gathering. Big round of applause. So our beautiful contestants on stage are a mix of some of our cosplay participants and also um, cosplay competition um, get our, uh, participants as well. Um, so, why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves. Yeah, well, hello. <laughs> um, I'm Mia Maki. I've been the mentor uh, this time around. Uh, I've been teaching some of the people how to use Vorbla and that kind of stuff. Hello, everyone. I'm Tem for Lemon Tea Cosplay. I've been cosplaying for about four years, and I've also been a mentor here. And you can find me mainly on Facebook and Instagram, if you're interested. Hey, um, my name is Julie, but most people know me as my chum on my Facebook page, and <coughs> I'm a competitor. Hello, I'm Lani Nima, and I started class playing on Monday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really quite crazy. Um, so starting with uh, so my chum, yeah? 
Um, Aichan is our second place winner for the cosplay competition yesterday. So um, that's super exciting. Tell me how it was to be on stage and to get the second place award. Oh, it was amazing. But I was really sad that my flash on my gun did not work at on stage. It mm -hmm. worked before stage and after stage. I felt the click, right? But it did not work. I don't know, but I can show you. Yeah. <gasps> There we go. Ooh, ah. Well, that's okay. You know what? Hashtag cosplay problems. You still ended up winning quite an <laughs> award. So it was is, fine. Yeah, no, that's, that's absolutely wonderful. Um, so is this your first time competing? Like where, what, uh, is this your like first experience being on stage? Tell us. Uh, this is my second time competing. Last year I was redeemed ribbon. Oh, and yeah. uh, I won third place and now I won second place. Next, next year, year first. going to be first yeah. place. <laughs> exactly. You're like, I'm coming for you, first place. I'm coming. <laughs> yes. So um, tell me a little bit about, uh, about your prop. What is the, the flash thing at the end? Oh, that, that's the old camera blitz, basically. That's it. Oh. So how did you install it? Uh, the whole thing is in here. OK. And there's wires going all the way back here mm -hmm. into the batteries that's in the magazine. Mm -hmm. And the thing is in here. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so, so cool. So how has your experience at the gathering been this year? Obviously, you were here last year. So what do you, how do you feel about um, cosplay at the gathering so far? Uh, I remember last year, it was, it was really high standard last year too. But this year was like up here. Yeah. So I was like, whoa, all these cosplayers. Whoa, it's amazing. Yeah, no, absolutely. There's some absolutely incredibly talented cosplayers here. But that obviously includes yourself. Thank we you. love all of our cosplayers here. So, um, so no, it's been, uh, it's been good. And we've had, I think, more cosplay programming this year than we did last year as well. Have you stopped by the workshop at all? I think I saw you down there. Yeah, yeah. all I did was weather the goggles because I didn't have time at home. That's all I did. Oh, that's, that's all she did. No, no big deal. She won a prize <laughs> and stuff, but <laughs> no big deal. So, yeah, so Laninima? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I keep mispronouncing this. Um, so you were the winner of the Newcomer Award. Yes. Yes. And as you just stated, you just started cosplaying on Monday. I, I started sewing on yeah. Monday evening and went sewing all until <coughs> 6 o'clock in the morning when I had to catch my train up here. <laughs> and I've been sitting in the cosplay workshop since then. Yeah, you sure have. I can actually confirm this. <laughs> She's been sitting there all the time and I actually had to chase her to bed right because she oh, you're the one who threatened her to so that she yeah. would go to bed she's like yeah actually one of the cosplayers like threatened me I, she was gonna chase me down if I didn't go to bed so I went to bed yeah. I had planned staying up all night yes. yeah not a good idea not a good idea. I mean sometimes but you know not unless you can catch up on sleep on an airplane or you know a train the next day but you pulled it out I'm not gonna lie when when I first talked to you I guess what it would have been Tuesday or Wednesday we're like yeah no I think I'm going to get entered the contest. And I was like, well, you absolutely shouldn't. And I was like, man, I really hope she, like, finishes. But I had no concept of how much you, like, had to get done, you know? I mean, I saw what you were working on. And I thought, well, well, she seems pretty confident. This is going to work out. And then here <laughs> you are, winning a prize. Yeah, yeah, I was done five minutes before pre-judging. Yeah. Yeah. So um, how has your experience at the gathering been? It's, it's been amazing. Um, this is my third time at the gathering and first time in the creative zone. And... Everyone's been so including in the creative zone. It, it's, it's made me feel like part of the cosplay, like community, community. Yeah. And even if they like didn't know me or anything, but mm -hmm. I s it still made me feel like I'd been part of it forever. Right. Right. And so, how has your? Um, I mean, what do you think will be next for you? I mean, this is your first. Well, I'm going to finish this because I still have to make the boots and finish the belts and mm -hmm. finish the hood. And, of course, make the staff. Um, <laughs> but next year, um, I am planning on being Sarah from Dragon Age Inquisition. Awesome. Well, we have a lot to look forward to. <laughs> Congratulations. It's, it's, really, it's really quite, quite amazing. Thank yeah, you. round of applause, guys. <laughs> so, next, uh, Mia. Mia Maki. Yeah, yeah, that's me. I met you last year. It's so good to see you again this year. Um, so you've been a mentor, you know, a guest um, doing panels. And then, yes, you have been in the cosplay workshop area basically the entire convention, which has been 
awesome to see. I mean, it seems like you're very, very dedicated to being part of the cosplay community and helping other cosplayers. Yes, I am. Uh, like, one of the things I'm working on the most uh, in the city I live, I live in Bergen, uh, is trying to actually gather all the cosplayers. So, uh, I work for something we call Black, which is Bergen Live Action Cosplay Club. Mm -hmm. And there we actually sit twice a week uh, making costumes together and uh, just, you know, mingle. Oh, wow. So where can um, fellow Norwegians f like become a part of this? Is like on Facebook or a website? or? Yeah, we, we have a Facebook page uh, called, as I said, Black mm -hmm. uh, and Add Bergen Live Action mm -hmm. Cosplay Club. Um, and uh, it's in Fillingsdalen for those who are from Bergen here and might want to pop by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's super awesome. Now, what is your experience of the gathering this year as far as the cosplay goes? versus last year? I think it was more organized this year. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, I can remember a lot of hiccups. Yeah. So, uh, we've had some hiccups, but we've had more <laughs> um, planning, or more, uh, more opportunity is, I think, the idea of what we've been trying to go for. The more opportunity for cosplayers to get together and work together, and the cosplay workshop being part of that. It seems like, yeah. um, it seems like everybody's really been utilizing that as a resource which is wonderful. Definitely. It was a great idea to actually have the workshop because that made it so much easier for all the cosplayers to mingle together, yeah. uh, exchange ideas and techniques. It, it was amazing to see how people communicated over there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And if I, if I may mention, I think you also got use of the cosplay lounge. In the very beginning, I think I may have seen you taking a little, uh, a little slumber, a little oh, snooze. Uh, Sh long story short, I actually fainted. Oh. Yeah, because it was my sixth day without sleep. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and is this because, like our newcomer and here, you, you were up? Tell me to go to sleep, and you yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. See, but she speaks from experience. But yes. it was very <laughs> cute to see you because I was like, I was like, oh, we already have our first cosplayer utilizing the lounge, Aww. which is exactly <laughs> what it was for. Do you think that the lounge was was a fun part of it as well? I felt like I saw a lot of cosplayers when they weren't working, sitting in the lounge and chatting with each other. Yeah, it was, it was great. Uh, only downside of it was that a lot of non-cosplayers used it too and uh, didn't want to give up the seats for the cosplayers. Yeah, yeah. well, it was pretty so clearly marked. So I had marked. to be a bitch. Yeah, uh, well, you know, I mean, it was pretty clearly marked, but, you know, also, I think the solution for next year is yeah, just like to have cosplay. a really... It's like, what's cosplay? I'm cosplaying. Right. Well, then you just have to use that as, as an opportunity to be like, let me tell you all about cosplay. I'm going to bore you to death until you leave. That's, <laughs> that's my method. Or yeah. next year, just wear a really, really scary costume and nobody but cosplayers will, will yeah. dare approach. So, <laughs> well, I'm so glad to have had you back this year. And thank you so much for being here. And uh, time for lemon tea. Hello. I have never met you before, but... Uh, we, I saw you in the video, which was very exciting. And look at that, Cersei! Oh my goodness, it's Thank incredible. You. Oh so is this your first time? <laughs> is this your first time at the gathering? Yes, it is. So tell me about your experience as a mentor, guest, etc. It has been great, really. Um, the cosplay community has been awesome over there, and a lot of experience, and it's wonderful to help people with the cosplays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it has been, it's been such a, it's like a big, warm, fuzzy family over there. Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely. I was the only one there with a sewing machine, so it was paid to that. Yeah, you know, I kind of half expected to see the whole thing full of sewing machines, but there were lots of heat guns, which, I mean, depending on the kind of cosplay that you do, which Have you seen my luggage? Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Actually, I feel like I'm forgetting who it was. I saw somebody roll in with their luggage. Maybe it was you. Somebody had a huge suitcase, and I was like, oh, that has to be a cosplayer. Yeah. There's just no other explanation. <laughs> Though then again, I suppose the computer screens take up a lot of space as well. So tell me a little bit about um, what you do, any, st like, what is your, what is your specialty? Why, co why come to the gathering and share your experience, other than your amazingly epic awesomeness? Well, my main focus in cosplay is sewing. So I have pretty much focused on that my entire cosplay career. Mm -hmm. So I'm just starting and getting into Wurbla and crafting and that kind of thing when it comes to creating a cosplay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, and it's funny, I know so many cosplayers that highly prefer one or the other. I have a very good friend back in the United States who's an extremely talented seamstress. She also does Wurbla, but that's her thing. She's all about creating these incredibly intricate sewing projects. Um, and then I have other friends who would prefer to never touch a sewing machine and only ever make armor and warbler. So 
It's, I suppose it's good to do both, but also I think part of what is kind of exciting about having this whole cosplay community together is the opportunity for collaboration, Definitely. you know. I've had, um, before I learned how to do a lot of warbler stuff and I was just sewing, um, I had plenty of warbler pieces made by friends and it was nice because then I can cross promote. Um, my axes that I have for this costume are made by um, a prop maker, friend of mine, and I thought to myself, well, I could make these props or I could have I could absolutely support his work when he offered to do to sponsor the the axes. I thought that's really great. Do you guys experience that in the cosplay community in Norway? Uh, I do sometimes. Collaboration between the sewing and mm -hmm. the crafting. I really haven't, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. But you said you have uh, you've experienced this or, or participated with other cosplays and group things. Yeah, I've been um, exchanging. Like sometimes I make wigs for others, and mm -hmm. they like uh, make. Uh, cosplay parts for me, sometimes props. Right. Um, and sometimes I'm doing the sewing and they like make the wig. I like changing on it all, uh, right. all the time. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it's good. And especially if you're really, really good at something, you know, to, and also to teach. I think that's, it's important perhaps in the future to have more collaborations and workshops. And it's so encouraging to hear that you have this group that gets together because everybody can build up their skill levels together. So. What would you, each of you, what would you like to see next year at the gathering? Whether it be from the, like, a, like a specific panel that you want to see or a specific cosplay that you hope somebody makes or even maybe yourself? Maybe an even better area, the workshop, so we can have bigger proper, area. Yeah. So we can have proper, proper workshops. Yes. So more space. Yes. We want more, yes. Uh, I'm actually happy with how it is now, but. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bigger cosplay lunch. Hmm? A bigger cosplay lunch. A bigger lunch, cosplay maybe. lunch, yes. With a nice big sleepy time, like bed with like big pillows yeah. that we can take naps. And pillows. <gasps> you know what would be really good? Would be like a massage therapist in the cosplay <laughs> lunch. Because you know, sewing is I really hard. I already have one. Oh, okay. Oh, well, never mind. Maybe you could bring, share, share the, massa the massage. Just give up sofas and have pillows all over the floor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say also say a bigger area for the cosplay lounge. Yeah. Yes, there were a lot of people working on their cosplay, but if we're going to aim, I think it would be good for the gathering to aim more of, instead of just pe people working on computers together, mm -hmm. there would be a bigger area for people to work on cosplay together. Yes. Yes. And have more of a focus towards that instead of just the competition, actually right. people coming here and getting to work on their cosplay yes. and getting to evolve as cosplayers and Absolutely. learn new skills between each other. Absolutely. What I like, uh, would like to see is a uh, bigger variation of tools. Yeah. Because it would be nice to actually have a sewing machine there. Right. And uh, maybe try something you've never used before. And yeah. 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 Now, that would be a really cool thing if we had different tools that maybe you've never had the, like the, not, I don't want to say bravery, but maybe never used before. If they were available here, then you could collaborate. But I yeah. think that overall, it has been such an amazing experience and so much more pro cosplay programming this year. And it's been such a pleasure to have all of you guys as part of it. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys um, so much for coming. And thank you so much to all of our contestants. Um, we also, we were going to have another guest this evening, um, Crix Design, but she was not able to make it. So um, if we have a picture of her work there, you can actually yeah. get a tutorial um, for the props and wings and things like that, because those wings are pretty awesome, at crixdesign.blogspot.no. Um, so make sure that you check that out. But that goes for all of our cosplay guests, all of our cosplay participants. If you're looking at their costumes and you're wondering how they made them and you weren't able to stop by the workshop and ask them in person, make sure that you look them up online. Um, we've all been posting and sharing and hashtagging. And if you want to learn more about cosplay and if you want to help us, as we said, it looks like we all want more space and more programming for cosplay next year. So make sure that you share your passion and share your love and share this information with other cosplayers so that they know that the gathering is a place for cosplay. See, everybody's really excited about cosplay. Oh, nah. They're shouting for it. Yeah, so everybody else here, shout, cosplay, yay! <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, yeah, I think we've got a couple more things coming up on this stage for you. But uh, happy gathering 2016! <laughs> thank you. <laughs>